So in the last video we learned how to create controllers for our routes. Next what we're going to be doing is learning how to create views. So in the last video we made a create view function but it doesn't actually do anything. So for our create view method we could do something like overriding it in the about us controller to display the about us view but we could also do something more simple. We could just say about us which is the name of the view and we could say contact us for the other view. This way we don't need to overwrite the method in its controller because we can just access it from its base controller. And here what I can do is I can just create the variable that stores the view name which in this case is going to be view name. And then here what we're going to do is we're going to load the view. So what I need to do is create another folder, call it views. And inside views we want to create a view for about us and we want to create a view for contact us. So now we have two views created and what I want to do in the controller is I want to include the view. So I want to say require once views slash view name. And now if I run that what we'll get is nothing printed out just because we don't have anything created in the views yet. So if I run this in the index page you can see there's no actual root for the index page so we get nothing. But if I go to about us you can see it's run but we get an error because we tried to open about us but we didn't include the file extension so we just put in .php. And then the other problem is because we're going up a directory to try and find views but that because we're accessing it from the root directory we're getting an error. So we'll just need to change that to just to one dot slash views to make sure that we're accessing it from the correct directory or we could just delete that entirely. So we'll just run this and this will work. You can see we get nothing printed out because the view is empty. But if I include a header about us and I run that, now we get about us printed out. And if we go back to index, we get nothing printed out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the header for about us, paste it in the contact us, change that to contact us. And I'm going to create a new route and this new route is going to be for index. So I'm going to copy that paste it here and we're going to set a route called index.php and it's going to go to the view index. We don't need to call the index and the create view the exact same thing. It's index.php because that's what get URL will return. So we need to call the root index.php but we can call the view just index if we want. And then here what we want to do is we want to call that index for our index controller. And then back here in controllers what we'll do is create the index controller and we'll just copy contact us paste it in here. Then we'll create a view for index. And we'll go to about us and we'll just copy and paste that in there. And that should be it. So now if we run this, we get a welcome message. And if we go to about us, we get about us printed out. And if we go to contact us, we get contact us printed out. And these views are entirely separate. So we could put absolutely anything we want on the HTML of this page. And you can see up here, there's no title. That's because all it is is literally this HTML page. We're not actually just including like a string or something. We are including the entire page and we can make it anything we wanted. But as you can see from this series that our logic goes into our controllers and our HTML goes into our views. So we've already split all that up and we're not ending up with PHP up at the top, some HTML in the middle and some PHP down at the bottom. So that's it for this video. Now we've been able to create controllers, create views. In the next video, we're going to be learning how to get data from the database and display it using the controllers in the views. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.